Greetings and bienvenue. Are you afraid of the dark, my faithful weird world watchers? Oh, I do hope not. Many of my favorite things live in midnight's shadow. Ah, poetry. No, boys and girls, what you should fear, what I, Vivi Argost, have come to warn you about, is that accursed fiery orb we call the sun. Did you know the ancient Aztecs believed we've burned through four suns already? Four times our world plunged into blackest depths. Four times to be brought back into the daylight of a new sun. But what happens when our suns run out? We live under the glow of the fifth sun, the sun of legend. The son of the eight beasts. This fifth son's end is coming, children, and hearken well. If Aztec legends are to be believed, there will never be a sixth. Are you afraid of the dark now? Ugh, how do they still let that freak on TV? Now we're supposed to be scared of the sun dying out? <laughs> It, uh, looks fine to you, right? Zack! Ah! What are you boys doing in here? It's about us Watching TV? On a bright, sunny day like this? Hey, about that. Is the sun looking a little, I don't know, off today? I mean, it's gotta have, like, what, at least a few thousand years left? Something's tripped perimeter security. We've gotta break it. Sweet! I call the Northeast Wing! Ah! Uh, don't even think about it. You boys just find someplace safe to hide and stay put. Okay. What? But... <sighs> Whatever Van Rook was looking for, he's covered his tracks. Whole sections of the Cryptopedia have been copied and erased. Their cryptid entries simply wiped clean from our databanks. Why would Van Rook be after cryptids? I don't know. But I may be able to find out. We interrupted before Van Rook could finish the job. With the data that's still left, I think I can... There! The Adero? One of the cryptids Van Rook was after. If we hurry, maybe we can find it first. Drew? Already locked in the coordinates. Hey, Frankenface! Hands off the Adero! Come back and fight, you! You spider chicken! Ugh, Mom, Dad! Manu's getting away with the Adara horn! There's a strange energy coming off of it. Something that's drawing in cryptids, like some kind of supernatural dog whistle. Uh, Mom? Sorry, guys. That still doesn't explain why Argost sent Munya after the Adaro's horn. What's the end game here? Whatever it is, it's bigger than just one cryptid. I've isolated the energy signature the totem is giving off, and the same pattern is showing up in a few other spots around the globe. Then why are we still here? That's a good question. We have to hurry! Maybe we can still catch them before they get away with the orange eyes! We'll get it back, Zack. I promise. But right now, we should focus on making sure Argos doesn't get any more cryptids. I've done a system scan, and it looks like all of the missing entries fall into one of eight general geographic locales around the planet. Other than that, I'm not seeing any connections among these cryptids. Eight? Well, that's an odd... The eight beasts! The one from the fifth sun! No. No, no, that, that's not e even... Even Argos wouldn't... Would someone like to explain why we're all suddenly so worried? Aztec legends claim that the Earth has already passed through four deaths and rebirths, and now we're living in the fifth and final one. Now, some versions claim that the fifth sun will end when the powers of eight beasts are united in one man's hands. Argus must have figured out which eight cryptids are... Wait, 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 wait. How do you know about this, young man? I've, uh, done some studies. Huh, some of a study. This doesn't make sense. Argos wants to rule the world, not destroy it. Sure, he wants to rule it, but maybe he's not picky about who's left. Come on, we've got to get to that next totem. 
But what happens if son, the son of legend? We have to do something, Fisk. They've got three of the eight beasts already. I know it's a stretch, but maybe Argos showed more than he meant to. Maybe there's a clue somewhere in... Wait, rewind. There, that one, with the horns and the goat legs. That's an Azazel, a desert-dwelling goat demon. And you think this is one of the eight beasts? Positive. Positive how, exactly? Why does nobody believe that I study? Doc, get the airship down here. We have to get the Azazel out of here before... Now, now, children. You're welcome to pack up your toys and go home. But this little play thing belongs to me. The signal from the tracking device says they're here, but I don't see any sign of a ship. Well, there's definitely a totem somewhere around here. Are you sure? I'm not picking up the energy signature. Uh, pretty sure. Hey, hey, snap out of it! That was me. Okay, anybody else ready to get this expedition moving already? It looks like the decay is all gradual saltwater deterioration. No fresh damage anywhere. I'd estimate the city's been untouched for centuries. Is it possible you were wrong? Right. How silly of me. Let's take a closer look. This place is amazing! Stay on guard. Remember, Argos and his thugs must know where to look for the Conrit, too. They could be... Ugh. Seriously, Fiskerton? <laughs> So, you guys always wind up wrecking priceless archaeological sites on your little adventures? Doyle, when we want your input, we'll ask for it. At least we kept the Conrit's armored plate out of Argos' hands. Oh, we got a bit more than that. Guess who swiped Munya's ace cheat sheet? <laughs> nice what? one, Miniman. Way to go, kiddo. Let me see that. Huh. I only see seven of the eight listed. Orange Eyes, Azazel, Conrit, and six of these we know. What about number seven? The Kikion, but there's no location, just the name. Finster. Like Baron Finster? That's perfect! Doyle knows everything about Finster! Oh, are we asking for Doyle's input now? Come on, Doyle! Do you know if Finster's connected to the Kikion or not? Not exactly, Miniman. But if Finster's got it, I know where he'd be keeping it. There's a lab outside Stockholm, Finster's cryptid research facility. Not a pretty place, but what goes on inside is even uglier. So serious. How do you even go to the bathroom in there? Oh. <coughs> Impressive. <laughs> or lucky. Either way, I do have one confession. The cryptid you came for has already been delivered to August. <laughs> so sorry. Have I made you angry? Let's just say you're lucky we've got more important things to deal with. Let's go, sir. What does it take to get ahead of these guys? Don't beat yourself up, honey. At least we've got some of the eight beasts safe. We're still... Oh. Very not good. Oh! Come on! They're all gone! Argos took everything! That's seven beasts he's got already! Here's a tip for next time. When the end of the world is on the line, you should maybe think about a security upgrade. Do you really want to see my security system? Come here. I'll show you up close. Whoa, Dad! <laughs> Doyle! We don't have time for this. There's only one beast left, and we don't even know what it is. It's time to take a gamble. You've got an idea, Mom? Okay, the eight beasts are an Aztec legend. I have to figure the Aztecs would have kept at least one of the eight close to home. The Temple of Tonatia, the Aztec sun god. You want to wipe out the fifth sun? You gotta go to the source. I hate this place. Ah! I like to get unpleasant stuff out of the way fast. Zack! Fiskerton! 
We have to keep together. This place is a nightmare of deadly traps and even deadlier cryptids. Then let's get going. He's got my claw. Yeah. And, you know, uh, end of the world. Also important. <laughs> Greetings and bienvenue, Saturdays. I most humbly welcome you once more to Weird World okay? And I promise this time we will not disappoint. The power to destroy suns and call darkness upon the world should be quite a sight. The last one this world will ever see. <laughs> Exit time, Miniman! I have to get the claw! Come on, I'll buy you some high explosives for your birthday. You'll forget all about it. Wait, 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 you'll buy him what? Uh, low explosives, then. Uh, hey! Gotcha! Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Everybody all right? <laughs> okay. Looks like we got away with one this time. <laughs> I really hate this place. Definitely. Yep. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yes, Munya. It's always disappointing when one misses out on a perfectly good end of the world. Uh -huh. oh. But take heart, as they say, tomorrow is another apocalypse. <laughs> 